Hi everyone, uh, the date is the 1st of August and I have done a number of videos yesterday and today simply because that, uh, you know, there's just so many new things and happening because of the new launch of the yield farming or the staking program or we call it the FTC pledging program. Uh, so there's a lot to learn and a lot to pick up from here so that's why there are exceptionally um num exceptionally high volume of videos that i'm creating uh, and cutting them into bite size and hopefully that you get into the specific topic that addresses your need easier okay so for this video is the all important one about how to do the pledging program the staking program in other words uh, it's my first time as well so let's walk through and explore together shall we shall we okay let's go into the purple color which is my favorite um, in this specific wallet, I've already prepared myself for the pledging, okay? How have I prepared myself? Alright, hi. Okay, so for this account, I've already added my uh, V2LP. Actually, I in an earlier video that I launched earlier today, I have topped up this account. At first, it was slightly short of being active. It was at 0 0.099999. And then uh, today, I have topped it up with a 0 0.11 FTC. So I've added to the liquidity pool. If you want to know all the details and all my pains and challenges overcoming, you know, insufficient balances, you know, things like that, you know, and learn from it so that my pain can be your gain, do refer back to the other video that I launched just before this, okay? But uh, right now, let's focus on how we can do the pledging. So this wallet has V2LP liquidity. And uh, so this is also my first time doing pledging. Let's explore together. First thing first, I believe that we have to click on this profit icon. Click on it. And here you can see that it has this option, total sticking rewards. Um, this is not an option actually. This is a display panel of total sticking rewards. So when you do add to the staking, then every day I believe you can assess your uh, staking rewards here and you can see that your rewards is here in terms of FUSD. Um, but I do see that there is a button here. Let's click on it. So, yep, if we stake, then every day we can come in to actually redeem uh, our pledged capital when I think the locking period is over, I guess. Okay. Um, if not, every day, it should then give you your daily earnings here where you can withdraw your FUSD daily. Alright, so this is the panel, the billboard that tells you about your daily returns uh, on your pledged amount. So now to actually go through the process of adding on to the liquidity pledge is this portion here, is this portion here. All right, so at the moment, it is zero, right? I have not pledged anything. So let's uh, click on this arrow and do the pledging now. So clicking on the arrow, it will transport you to this portion. Either you do a quick pledge or you do a liquidity pledge. All right, now, what is the difference? The difference is that a quick pledge looks like it is a pledge based on USDT okay and then your earnings will be in the form of uh, LP okay and then there is the same three options here but uh, before I go into the three options down here there are also options for you you can pledge to you can pledge either USDT BEP 20 or USDT ERC20 or USDT TRC20 or FUSD main. And whichever one that you select, for example, USDT BEP20, then it will come with the pairing of the respective gas fee, which is in BNB. If you were to choose 
ERC20, then your pairing of gas fee is in ETH. Similarly, if you choose TRC20, then your pairing is in TRX in terms of gas fee. And then if you were to select FUSD main, then the good thing is that it is zero minus fee, all right, but there is still the pledge minor fee that applies to all the different four different versions of USDT that you pledge. Yeah. And then you have the pledge period option where these are the period options here. Okay. Seven days at one percent, fifteen days at one point at, at one percent, thirty days at one point two percent. All right, so these are the options, and then, and then uh, the other option here is to do an LP pledge, which I think for this wallet I'm going to do an LP pledge. All right, so click on LP pledge because I have the LP already pledged here, so um, I'm going to key in the minimum staking of 0 0.1 but i have more than that i have a balance of 1.7 so i'm going to click in um instead of 0 0.1 i think i'm going to to try to stick the full balance which is 1.7 can i do that let's try and it tells you that I have a minus fee of 0 0.0069 FTC. Pretty, pretty high, I think. Okay, but anyway, let me see. I'm going to um, select my pledge period. I'm going to try for seven days, which is at 1% a day. Okay, and... Uh, and... Uh, Shall I do that? Pledge 1.7. Okay, let's let's click on LP pledge and see. Um, again, it says insufficient. So I'm going to reduce it manually, little by little. Okay, by reducing that little bit, now it actually uh, allows me to go. But yet... It shows my pledge days as 30 days and it's at 1.2. Why? I thought I selected 7 days. Okay, let me get back again. So, I'm going to reselect again for 7 days. Okay? And um, to, be, to be sure, to be more careful, I'm going to pledge. Maybe I'm just going to pledge 1.7. Okay? just you know not to cut it too thin all right and uh, 1.7 and i want to select seven days and can i pledge it yeah now it says that the pledge quantity is 1.7 fin lp it will be for seven days and it's at one percent a day and that lp price is at this amount and period income i guess every day for the seven days this is what i'm going to get and uh, this is the due date and the due time, exactly seven days from now. And then the estimated total revenue that I would be receiving is this amount of FUSD. <laughs> okay, $1.59 of FUSD, which is equivalent one is to one value of USDT. All right, so for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to show you that I'm going to pledge it right now. Confirm. And my first pledging uh, is under processing. See? So my first fin LP, which is this LP pledging, all right, is done for seven days at 1%, and it is processing. And also the recharge is on. This is the automatic recharge, as in like the recycle. After seven days, it will continue for pledging for another seven days that is what it means all right so this is not different very much from the 1.0 era 
when uh, we do our lending and borrowing program, right? There is also a auto reload button. Okay, let me see. It is processing. Um, does it pass through? I'm trying to refresh it. Okay, good. In red, it's scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary to see red, right? So it says it is pledged. All right, so I guess it is successful. I have already done my first pledging. Um, let me take a look at how it appears right now. Well, of course, um, I still have not received any rewards. I guess the rewards will kick in after 24 hours at least, at least I think. And uh, But you can see that there is a significant difference now. Under the liquidity pledging, this portion is no longer zero, but it shows the $22.70 over cents pledged. And uh, I can also click on the small button here to see more details. Yeah, and the details is here, my pledge record. Okay? Okay? Um, and uh, here, you can also click on the small arrow here again to see more details where it will demonstrate to you that you have done the Fin LP pledge and the date, the time that you pledge and the The calculation, current interest calculation. Um, okay, as in, this is August 1st and then the second day will be August 2nd. So, as in, the interest calculation will be exactly 24 hours, I think that's what it means. And that it will mature exactly 7 days from then, which is the 8th of August. And yes, according to the same time that I have put in the pledging. Okay, so um, and the p income to receive, I think daily will be this amount, 22 cents. Yeah, and, um, and um, this is the daily rate at 1%. Okay, because it is for a period of seven days. All right, and then this is the transaction hash. And uh, yes, so... This is um, this is for how you actually add to how you actually add to the LP pledging. All right. So I hope that uh, this video has been helpful for you. In my next video, I will demonstrate to you how to do the quick pledging. All right, God bless everybody and may you have a rewarding financial journey with Fintosh. Uh, once again, I have to end off with a little disclaimer. I am not a Fintosh employee. I am an investor myself and these videos I create is to share my learning with all of you. Uh, hopefully that this helps you to guide step by step on what you have to do to navigate along the application. It is not in any way a financial advice okay but these videos are more for information and education purposes yeah and uh, if you wish to add to the liquidity and if you want to know more about it i have videos that i have done a couple of weeks back all about liquidity pool about the pros the cons and also about yield farming and also about staking and what are the differences all right so feel free to do your own research before you take any action. So God bless everyone. Take care.